Hey folks, welcome back to Build It With Smith. I'm your host Smith and we're getting back into uh, the rebuilding of my city here. You can see some of the stuff I've already done with my uh, college campus, going for an educational uh, type of district here. And uh, we also added some a couple of buildings here and there. These are luxury uh, skyscraper well they're not the skyscrapers they're like the mid-level and then we got our neighborhood over there collecting 770 bucks and uh so we're just checking on things the sun is coming up uh the sun uh the um sims are getting up going to work you can see those street lights turning off and so here's the area the plot of land that we have for the next uh little section we're going to be doing the gambling and as you can see i got i think everything but the omega casino because i'm not ready for the omega stuff yet uh but i've got everything from that season exclusive that we had a few months ago hopefully you collected those and uh there in the background there those are a bunch of epic buildings i have uh like 30 something epic buildings or something so we're gonna get started here see uh, what types of ideas we have uh, going on in our brain see if we can get something creative flowing and if we can get this road to just connect like that yeah all right so that's the first part now those are two well they would be able to fit two rows of buildings if you understand what i'm saying uh two buildings can fit in the narrow side there all right um but you know i think what i want to do is i gotta add i gotta add the golf courses here i think because uh, i've had these golf courses for quite a while and i never really got a great place to put them. Now I'm just doing this here. I just put that other one over there just so that I can draw this other road. I want to actually have the uh, golf courses together, the front and the back side of it connected together. So that fits there and got a very nice golf course for our college campus, maybe for the dads to come and visit their kids and all get together, go golfing or something. Uh, or maybe they have a golf team at this at this uh, college campus. That could be it too. Um, I, my brain is always thinking of something different. Try something else here. Uh, what if we made our golf course, shifted it over to the back side of the. Um, of the space here and so that uh you know those are our dormitories there those uh, uh they're actually the uh, parisian buildings um, and of course you get the parisian buildings uh, when you unlock the um, airport and you do some deliveries to paris then you get items to uh upgrade those buildings i didn't know that at first uh it took me some time. I think early on, if you see some of my earlier videos, uh, I, I put down a couple of Parisian buildings and then I didn't have the items to upgrade them. And I'm like, where did I get these items from? Where did I get this uh, Gucci bag looking thing from? These fancy purses and other things that they have. I think sweaters and stuff. Uh, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's get going. Um, got to kind of have some foresight here as a matter of fact um, I want to just kind of plot out the space where I'm going to put my services now if you are familiar with the game uh, services are very important services there are three services there are fire uh, health and police services you have to provide those services for your sims that stay in any particular building um, or or you could buy the um, Max's Manor if you don't know if that doesn't make any sense to you if you're Max's 
man, or where should we start? Max is is the original uh, on the SimCity PC game. Max is is the developer that developed the SimCity PC version. We're talking about back in the day, like in the 90s, okay? And uh, Max's man is something that has kind of, that they introduced, I think, in their last um, hoorah, their last, uh, you know, version of SimCity, which I think was in 2013. And so then you have this Max's manor. Uh, and as you can see, it acts as a fire police and a health coverage. So you can either buy your separate police, fire, and health stations, or you can just buy a Max's Manor, and that covers all three. And so I've done that there, and uh, it does cost Sim Cash. There's, it costs 1,000 Sim Cash, but you guys know I keep the Sims on deck here in the game. And so uh, it's going to work out real nice. That way you don't have a clunky... Uh, deluxe fire station and uh, police precinct taking up a lot of the space. We're just going to go with this Max's Manor here. Um, oh, um, um, uh, mm. All right, finally got that. That is going to be our um, actually. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do something like this here. Uh, make a more of a narrow path, and then, because we still have a lot of space, and uh, we want to try to fit those epic buildings in there. Then we got a ton of gambling buildings as well. We want to try to fit in there, so uh, we need to make that happen. All right, well, I'm, I'm really having some trouble with the road, drawing the roads here. Like, at every turn, it's just... It's unreal. Okay, so that's pretty much gonna cover the area that we've drawn out, uh, thanks to our Max's Manor here. And so we'll just go ahead and place that right there. Uh, I think it's gonna go really nice with the ideas I have in my head for this uh, section of town. Now it's getting darker, not supposed to be doing construction at these hours of the night, uh, but We'll try to work quietly as to not awaken the Sims. Uh, yeah, we want them to wake up in the morning and have a nice, uh, you know, casino or two to go and uh, check out. So we are going to continue this work at night. Um, if you guys didn't know, uh, you know, a lot of times you can't do construction, building too much noise. Uh, at certain hours of the night. That's just in the building code. So I was just kind of making a joke there about uh, us doing construction at night. If, if you didn't get that. If you got it, it now you got it. Okay. Um, all right. Well, uh, we're just still working things out here, guys. Uh, bear with us. This is not, uh, this is going to be a probably like a 20. 25 minute video guys we're just um building here uh there's and it's just rough and dirty you know uh that's what they say that's a phrase if you guys didn't know uh basically you know we're just building here and providing some uh hopefully some good commentary for you guys all right i think we're going to actually we want to beautify this place a little bit um I'm thinking, let's go into, let's see, what are we going to get here? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, hopefully you guys aren't jealous, but I did get all of the, um, uh, all of the, what is this season? The, uh, what is it? Festivals of SimCity. I got all of those buildings um, sponsored by EA. And I made a video for it, so I guess I kind of kept the buildings. Hopefully, they don't take them away. But, well, they're going to go down this strip here uh, in my casino city. And I think that that fits really nicely with what I have envisioned. Because we're going to have, you know, uh, 
some buildings on either side of that and uh, yeah so we do have this gap here didn't quite make it as far as I wanted it to I thought it was going to cover the whole whole area that way we could just have a carnival and festival all the way uh, I mean this is just going to be a party side of town guys well I guess uh, we'll have to try to make up for this space as uh, so we can move everything kind of toward the middle a little bit um, hopefully you're watching this video and you have unlocked some of these uh, and uh, if, if you can't tell also you see the little green uh, data layers those are the population data layers get larger and larger as you uh, collect your uh, items now I like these, uh, those right there, they're kind of shaped you know, just to fit in there nicely, actually. So we got the front of the casino, and then on the back side is those, are those people riding elevators, and they're looking down at the uh, festivities. I think that's a pretty good fix for our gap situation. So, um... Well, let's build some more casinos because uh, we got a lot of them. Uh, I've collected the old casinos and then the uh, one that they have from the past contest of mayors. So we got to kind of make room for a few of these because uh, a few of these are actually kind of big. Mm. So let's see if there's space. I kind of think that there is space for about three or four of these we can put on that little road right there and that way it will be facing the parade and one right there so that is the wild west casino it's probably one of my favorite ones it's pretty huge actually uh, large format there and we'll have a road kind of going around it that way just to add a little more flavor to the, the city there I think that looks nice starting off I think it looks nice what do you guys think all right so um, we don't want to just pow buildings everywhere I mean that would be nice but like I said aesthetically I'm going for a nice look uh, uh, for this city so the population isn't going to be sky high guys we're just um, we are just making the city look beautiful and whatever that is to me is what you guys are going to see so um, got a few more let's see I'm trying to think if I could where what I can do these are kind of oddly shaped this this these those two right there are kind of oddly shaped uh, casino buildings. Those are more of the normal formats of buildings, just two by two squares. These are like three by two, which is a little odd, but uh, we could do something with that. We could definitely do something with that. Um. So, I'm kind of pondering here what to do from this point. And it looks like we're going to have a little... Well, we could do that. How does that look? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess that's... Well... No, I think, I think when I had this in my mind, I wanted to put the casino buildings like right there. And, and actually, uh, actually I, I want them to, I think I want them to face the other direction. So like if you're, um, 
Let's say you're at the festival. Yeah, you want to be able to to look down. Uh, if you're in these casinos, you want to be able to look down at the festivals. So yeah, we'll have them out that way. And then I can fill these other spaces with more buildings. I think that's a good idea, folks. All right, so well, we're kind of wasting a little bit of the boost on uh, the festival there. That's not providing any population boost and the uh, golf course isn't either. So, hmm. I suppose I could have did that, but I think I'm going to save the entertainment district for it. When I expand out a little bit further in the city, I was uh, contemplating putting that uh, expo center, or was that, is that a, I think it's an expo center, something. Um, all right. So we're getting somewhere here. We're getting somewhere. Um, looks pretty nice. I really, you know, my favorite building, I think, from this whole thing is that nightclub there. All right, well, uh, I think I want to add some water using these lakes. Kind of have a canal sort of thing, something to beautify that part of it. And actually, uh, I think I want to use one of these one of these beautiful bridges that they have. I'll have to put a, a couple of ponds to uh, give the bridge some water to go over. I don't understand why between the ponds and the lake, uh, they're not all uniform. Like I understand they got to be kind of jaggedy to make it look more natural, but it also looks like. Nah, I guess that looks okay. Yeah, I guess that looks okay. It's just these little... It's just kind of... Jagged. Alright, so... I'm going to go ahead and place these buildings now. And, uh... We'll speed it up here so you guys don't have to... Bear with me on doing all this. All right, we're back, and we've got, well, it's been like, you know, a little bit of time here. We um, added some things to it, took some time, and kind of placed our uh, buildings strategically. There is a strategy for all of this, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and a reason. I even... Uh, you know, a reason for the building placements, why I placed them certain places, certain buildings. I wanted the tall ones to be in the back, the shorter ones in the middle, so that when you're looking at it, you can see all the buildings and they're not blocked. Certain buildings that seem to go together have little curves and stuff. I put those together. Uh, we added in some water fountains. We've got some waterfront restaurants. We got the old casino buildings here. I mean, guys, I don't like to brag, okay, but this looks pretty nice, and I'm, I'm proud of this here. Now, um, I know some of you guys want to try to duplicate these cities, which I don't have a problem with. I just need to come up with a way. I'm kind of thinking maybe of taking screenshots, and uh, I have a Twitter account, but I hardly ever use it. I would post it to Twitter, but... You know, I may post it to like a f my Facebook page. Oh, great plug. Um, I have a Facebook page, guys. It's 
Build It With Smith on Facebook. Uh, so you can go and find me and my videos and maybe that's where I'll post like some screenshots of some different ideas uh, that you can do and stuff like that. Um, yeah, guys, I mean, uh, this came together really nice. So let's look at our population. We are not quite at half a million, which is what I wanted for this whole. We still got some other areas there. Like uh, I got to figure out what I'm doing with the uh, industrial district and stuff but um we still got another plot of land there that we could probably fit some more folks in um i'm thinking about maybe using that as an omega area omega seems kind of difficult but i got a small plot of land i might use that for that uh i got a couple of more schools like the high school and the elementary school and no i already did the elementary school i think i got the library uh, the nursery um so maybe i'll put those places there at the beginning of my map um uh, and kind of make a omega thing for the rest of it but i'm gonna sit back now and keep watching looking at my city zooming in and out uh doing that just because I'm so proud of it. Um, so I hope you guys uh, like this video format here. It's a little bit longer than usual, but uh, as always, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I love to hear from uh, my viewers, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. See ya.